I'm Zach with Beer Inks RV Center and I'll be showing you the Tab 400. So in here you have your propane tank, as well as a little bit of storage, manual crank, it does have a tire on there so you can't push it around, as well as these handles, that makes that a little easier for you. On the side here, it's just a vat for your AC unit. Inside your compartment, there will be a cover for that. Down here, you have your black and your gray tank uh, valves. I always recommend pulling the black first. After that's done, go ahead and pull your gray. It'll allow you to be able to flush your sewage hose out. Here's your 30 amp connection. And in here is your wet bay. You have your city water connection here, black tank flush here. You also have an outside shower. These connections here. And there's also a light in there, a drain. And up in the left hand corner will be your, your cable hookup. This is your furnace and your water heater um, bed there. On the back here, we have two more handles, as well as your stabilizer jacks. Kind of demonstrate that for you. These are just meant for stability, not actually to level out the camper. You don't want to pick the camper up with them. And to the left of this one here, you do have a uh, LP quick connect. Up on top, you do have your solar panel. On the side here, that's just a, a battery vent. The unit does come with two six volt batteries, which will be located underneath your bed. In the storage compartment, you have your 30 amp cable, that cover we discussed earlier. And up here on the corner is your uh, battery disconnect. If you are storing it for a while, you will want to turn that off. Outside GFI hookup. We do supply you with this tool here to remove your spare tire, which is located underneath your propane tanks there. And then before we go inside, I'll show you how to do your steps. This pushes up like so. And when that comes out, your light will come on and you get it. So up here, we have your monitor panel. This will show you your gray, your black, fresh, and how much battery life you have left. Go ahead and just hit that button. And it'll go from empty, one third, two thirds, and full. Down below that, you'll have your water pump button, porch light, sink light, and then your accent light. And then here, this one will work your AC unit. Let's go ahead and hit that. It does your AC and it also has a heat pump. So with your AC unit, you can also use heat. So you can hear that kick on there. Up above here, we have your water heater slash furnace. So to turn your water heater on with your electric will be here, right under that will be for your propane. Up above here will be the temperature inside. Then this will be for the heat for your water. And then over here is your sink, you have your cooktop. So you go ahead and put that on light. And then you have an automatic sparker. You do have a 12 volt TV. So you'll be able to run that with your solar panel outside as well as your battery. 
here. You do have your refrigerator with a little freezer up top. Down below, you do have your fuse panel and your breakers. You do have radiant heat on the unit. So if you see behind the, uh, the sink here and the stove, you have little vents, same thing with behind the bed and underneath your dinette. So you do have a little bit of storage underneath your bed here. And then underneath that portion over there, you'll have your two six volt batteries. Underneath this side, you will have your water heater and your furnace. And then in this little compartment over here, you'll have your inverter button. So you'll be able to run your outlets, your 110 outlets with your six volt batteries. Up above here, we do have your stereo. And some storage in here as well with a nice LED light. And then in the bathroom, like I said, you do have the radiant heat and that's what that will be there for. You have the pull down sink. The little accent light there. It does come with a curtain as well. You have the fan above you there and then the pedal flush toilet. Back by this rear window here, or this front window, I should say, you do have your antifreeze for your water heater. You will want to check that once a year. So you have this fan up here as well. Go ahead and open that up. You have three different fan speeds. Let's turn that on. One, two, and three. And whether you want the air to blow in here or you want it to take out the air, you do have that option here. So if it's in the center, that'll turn it off. And reverse. Over here in the corner, you do have your smoke alarm. It is battery operated, it's not wired in. So you will want to check that battery. And down below on your door, you do have your fire extinguisher as well. So I'm going to demo your window for you. You have these little push buttons on here. Turn them vertical and horizontal. And this will open up. And then you can tighten these struts down so that it will hold. You do have the blackout shade as well. And then just your normal shade. Then you have your dinette table, which goes down into a bed for you. So we'll demo that for you as well. You do have two tabs back here. Pushing those in unlocks it from this rail. Go ahead and lift that up there on that foot. Give it a little tab there, lock that in place. Works better when you start it back here. And now it's locked into place for you. And then just to put that back up, you're gonna go ahead and remove that. set that up. So it's an added bonus with new camp. I give you a little welcome package. They supply you with a regulator, a towel, a, a, a flashlight, a bar of soap, and a deck of cards. They also supply you with a really nice bag that has all your paperwork.